Happy July 12th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy began her test to join the Saberhold Armorsmithing Guild. She is not an armorsmith, so I think she may have been stalling. We spent the day yesterday meticulously organizing the smithing room. Thankfully, we came away unscathed. There was some real danger, believe it or not. Lots of ways to injure ourselves. Um, our big goal is to find the third ancient guardian, uh, re restore the spirit of the Tree of Seasons, and save the land. Um, but we stumbled on something nefarious going on here in Saberhold, and if we can solve it, we're told there may be a substantial reward. And it's the right thing to do. So. We are attempting to join a guild, so the counterfeit guild crest supplier will hopefully approach us and we can arrest him, I suppose. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Um, for the next step in the test, you must collect the materials you'll need. You aren't allowed to purchase them or acquire them from others. You need to venture outside the city to harvest them. So this is part of the test. We have to go collect the materials to make something. We have blueprints from yesterday for, I believe it was a ring and a cloak and some armor. Okay. Three things. They're numbered, so we do them in order. Uh, we're looking for cedar, some ore, and some fibers. So here we go. Make a note of the total materials you collect. Wood, number one. Roll d20 plus strength, reminder, athlete. What do we got here? d20 plus strength, d20 plus constitution, and wisdom. Okay, here we go. Uh, 14, and our strength is plus three, that's 17, and we are an athlete, so that's 19. That's the best result. Wood is the primary material for the armor piece, but it can also be carved for fasteners and molds and burned for the forge. Finding ample amounts of usable wood this far into the mountains is difficult. You must locate a source in the valleys. Not all trees are suitable for your purposes. Hopefully, you know what to look for. Once you've found an acceptable tree, the next challenge awaits. Felling these robust giants and transporting the lumber back to the city we got the best result you find a group of flexible light and sturdy trees you quickly fell the trees and chop them up for your project you acquire two wood materials so wood two excellent we're off to a very good start Step two, ore. Roll d20 plus constitution. Reminder, athlete. Let's see. The primary substance for crafting the ring will be various metals, which can also be employed for creating fasteners, buckles, and embellishments for other items. Fortunately, there's a metal-rich mine situated nearby, offering a wealth of mineral ores. However, it's important to note that not all metals will be suitable for your intended purpose. Selecting the appropriate combinations of ores can be time-consuming. Expect to invest significant effort into breaking down boulders and rocks and sifting through the mineral-rich earth. So here we go. Constitution roll. 13 plus 1 is 14. Plus 2 for athlete is 16. That's the best result again. You methodically examine rocks, caverns, and boulders for sign of ample and rich materials. Before you begin to swing your pickaxe, you mine two ore materials. Uh, or two. Okay. Step three. Fibers. Um, it's imperative to secure a high-grade fabric to create the cloak. Additionally, cloths will be indispensable for various projects. Notably, armor components necessitate padding, while rags can serve multiple purposes, such as polishing metals or cleansing equipment. You'll need to venture farther from the mountains to acquire the necessary fibers for clothing and rags. Exercise caution during your search and beware of disturbing poisonous plants, 
or handling those adorned with sharp barbs. All right, this is a wisdom and danger sense roll. Nine. Wisdom is plus two, that's 11. We do have danger sense, that gets us 13. That's the middle result. So um, can we get three more points somehow? Wisdom. We have Tank who might be able to help us. Um, do we have any danger sense or student? Uh, and we have Ivan who's a student. We need three points. I don't know if that's enough. Let's see. We, <laughs> we have to miraculously activate both of these abilities. Tank would give us one wisdom, and Ivan, as a student, would give us two. Okay, let's we may as well give it a shot. So here we go. Um, let's do Ivan first, because he has the best chance. We just need a heart or a diamond, and Ivan can help us out. So what do we get? We got it. Okay. All right. That's two. That gets us to 15. We need one more point, Tank. And he'll get us a point of wisdom if we draw a spade that is greater than or equal to four. Here we go. Nope. And it's a face card. So he takes a point of damage. And let's see. That was Tank. How much health does he have? Three. So he's okay for now. But we didn't get it. We're stuck with the middle result which isn't terrible and what's it say here you avoid hazardous plants and harvest one fiber material excellent i suppose we will put these to use tomorrow and that my friends is july 12th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again tomorrow I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.